Amen. And we're here to worship that God, our Father, our Heavenly Father, to worship Him this morning as we come together. And we welcome those who are watching us on live stream as well as we come in this way. And those who might be watching on Monday as they watch the YouTube version on Mondays also. But it is good to see each of you who are here worshiping with us on this day. Um, this is the Lord's house, and we trust that you've come anticipating a blessing from he who knows. He knows all about us. He knows where we are. He knows how we are doing physically and spiritually. He knows what we are dealing with. And so we look forward to hearing what he has to say to us today as we open our hearts and our minds to him. Our core officers, the Morrises, are on furlough this week, and so they're not with us, but uh, we're so pleased that Majors Paul and Paula Fleeman are able to come and share with us today, and we look forward to uh, their sharing with us and the message they have for us today. I've got a couple of other things that I've been asked to share with you. First of all, Two good news ones, that's the nice part about it. Shirley Smith, is it your birthday today? Is that right? It's her birthday? Today's her birthday, and so congratulations. And we've all come together to celebrate your birthday today. That's, so <laughs> but it's good to see you and good to have you here. Also, we've learned after five weeks of being in rehab, David Baxendale has gone home. And uh, so we're pleased to hear that, that he's, he's home now after all those weeks of, of being in rehab. We do have a special prayer request from our court treasurer. Um, he's kind of self-quarantined himself today. Uh, there are some, might be just a relative, but he has some relatives that evidently have caught the virus. So he's doing fine, but he said, I'm just going to stay home. I'm going to make sure that I don't have anything and not share my so our court treasurer Jerry touched it in their family. We ask that you pray for them. Uh, in that regard, we are going to uh, remind you of our offering. Uh, put on my court treasurer's hat right now. And uh, remind you of that. I have three quotes I want to share with you. First, from our Salvation Army founding mother, Catherine Booth. She said, You are not in the world for yourself. You have been sent here for others. The world is waiting for you. And Frank said, no one has ever become poor by giving. And of course, God says in Hebrews 13, 16, and do not forget to do good and to share with others. For such sacrifices, God is pleased. So we remind you today, although we are not uh, passing the offering plate, as was our normal practice, we do have two boxes at the entrance there for you to place your offering in there. 